Oh, hey guys. Oh no, West Runes is falling oh, to the to Dark shit. Forces. Oh, yeah. Let people hear you yeah. clearly, Cujo. Clearly! People want to hear your voice. Cut down the vine wall and go to the summit. Why are you not cutting down? We, we need to get the boomerang. Where's the boomerang? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Really? Are we gonna do this? I, I don't know. I'm just chopping down goblins. Welcome back, everyone. I'm glad hey you've come back for more of this delightful and good place. Oh, actually, I must have been in the right place because I got sealed in. That's a good sign, actually. Yeah. Anytime that happens, you know, you're moving the plot forward. Right? It's like anytime a scary game auto saves, you're in for some shit. Oh, Jesus. All right. Where? Where? It's about time I'm I'm seeing what the magic is like in the horse. So magic, we haven't really talked about the magic ability, but the main benefit is that um, you get armor piercing. Just any any defense that any enemy puts up, you'll just break through it. Mm. Um, and, and at the end of it, you get a nice you know finale move that will blow up a lot of guys. And uh, while your magic is is running. Um, it racks up like a combo, and you can get achievement or unlock things uh, by hitting certain combos. There's there's a lot of like little mini objectives that are persistent through every single thing that you're doing in the game. Okay. It's like, you know, kill a thousand goblins. Oh, yeah, you did it. Now you get uh, an extra heart for Link, or you get like an extra costume. I don't actually remember what the rewards were, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's that kind of bullshit. Boomerang! Boomerang. Boomerang. You got a boomerang. It stops enemies in their tracks. Just let's come back when you throw it. Blah de blah de blah de blah. We all know what a boomerang does. We've all played Zelda games. Jeez. Not going off of real life experience. Jeez. Only Zelda games tells us what it does. Uh, hey man, I played Zelda before I ever held a boomerang. So That's fair. I uh, held a boomerang because I played Zelda. Actually, yeah. <laughs> That's Whoa! How I look at it. Wait a second. What? How did I? What? Epona has something. Epona has little carrots, and I didn't realize. I don't know how I used what? it. How did oh. I use I think uh, she, like, will run faster. Well, yeah, that was the whole idea. Yeah, but I don't know how I did it. Uh. All my other buttons are... I don't know. I'll figure that out, because now I'm really curious. Hmm. We obviously haven't explored the DLC characters very much yet. Uh. Or the DLC in general. Hey, look, it's Sia. Oh, it's right. delicious. It's, it's sequences like that, too, by the way, that totally convinces me that they were just using her, her tits to sell this game more. That yeah, slow pan it of the camera even focus up on her front. face first. Yeah, it it's focuses on her chest and slowly yeah. pans up so you can get a nice, nice uh, eyeball in of her, her boobs. It's like, come on, guys. I mean, I guess Nintendo didn't care enough to say no. Actually, I don't think I've talked about this. I was talking to Jen about this. Um, but I have a theory. Hmm. A, a second theory about why they made her so boobalicious. Hmm. So, I've never been to Japan. I don't actually know a lot about Japanese culture. Hmm. But I do know that the Japanese don't... They don't... They view cleavage as something that's um, improper and and just you shouldn't ever show cleavage. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, they they really don't care like how short your skirt is or how much leg you're showing. Right. They'll they'll wear like super super short skirts and, and shorts to where you basically see your ass, mm -hmm. um, and that they think that's totally fine. Um, which is basically, I mean, you know, Americans aren't totally different, but we we enjoy our cleavage, obviously. Yep. Um, so I wonder if they decided to make her super boobalicious and show a lot of cleavage because it's like, oh, she's impure, she's an evil character, and she's flaunting her body around That's to weird. represent a physical manifestation of how uh, corrupt she is. Oh. I, really? I, I, that's, that's, weird. that's, that's my second theory. I have no grounding for it other than my very rudimentary understanding of Japanese culture, but it's possible that that was kind of what they were going for. And if that's true, it's, it makes a lot more sense, but is at the same time still just as disappointing. Yeah. That's really Oh, God. Uh, so I really don't like 
manhandler because when you get stuck in in uh, its attack, it's very hard to escape. Um, and the only way to knock down its little like its heads yeah. is with the boomerang. You can't just like hit it with your sword and knock one down. I mean, the boomerang is the best weapon for the job anyway, but uh, I, I don't know. Oh, there's still another one. It's but it's it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh, of all their bosses, it's, it's the one. Things. It's the one that I like the least. I thought it was just more annoying to fight than than fun. It is something I also noticed too, is that they didn't shit, have a, shit, shit, shit. Have a similar uh, intro to the character that the last boss we had. You know? It didn't really... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I am pleased. Basically when it did the little cutscene, all I really saw was, oh, it's a spiked plant thing with four heads. Okay, that's... That's it. So, you know. I mean, Manhandle is, is like one of those traditional Zelda enemies that just kind of has to be in the game, you know, because it's... Yeah. Oh shit, the allied base is falling. Well, I'm gonna go over to the allied base. You deal with Manhandle. Okay. Um, and hopefully I'll find some hearts on the way. Or not get lost. That would also be nice. Manhandle is not reacting to the boomerang right now. Did... Uh, Manhandle... Manhandle is not underground yet, is it? No. So at some point it's gonna go underground and it's gonna start shooting shit at the allied base also. Oh! Oh god, I never... I should have thought of this sooner, but one of my biggest issues with this game is there's no way... no good way to recover um, health for your bases. Nope. That, and it, that is a consistent thing. It's That's really frustrating because it gets to the point where it's actually more efficient to let your base fall and recapture it. Um, which I think is incredibly stupid design. I think as long... Oh, shit, 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 shit. I think as long as you are in your base and you have killed the majority of enemies in it, it should recover health. Yeah, that's... Um, and that's such a simple fix to a flawed design. But, like, now that the allied base has low health, there's nothing we can do about it. We just have to make sure that we just kill everything that goes into it. I don't like this boss. It's it's incredibly annoying. Oh, fuck. God damn. It's like I suddenly forgot the controls. There we go. Stupid dark nut. So I kind of figured out. So uh, I guess the carrots are like a charge dash for Epona, which is actually kind of cool. Hmm. Well, it's, it's not a speed thing like I, I thought it would be. Oh. oh, yep, Manhandle is underground and starting to shoot things. Oh no, maybe it's just shooting it from its running around spot. Okay, well, I helped the allied base. I'm gonna help you kill Manhandle. Okay. And hopefully we don't lose. If this act, we actually might lose this. And uh, we'll get to see the first loss of our playthrough so no. far. No! <laughs> it will not be. Consequences are pretty minimal. Now. Oh, now it's going underground. Now it's going to start spitting stuff everywhere. So now we got to find the right one to kill, and then it'll come back up above ground. And I believe the one that we want to kill is going to be kind of over where I am. So these little stalks have just popped up everywhere. This, this I thought was an interesting way to like make this level a little bit more, um, I don't know, complicated. Yeah. But I don't think that the Manhandle stock was very cleverly placed because it's a little obvious which one it would be, and it's it, not the closest one, but it's like the second closest one. Yeah. And anyone that has any kind of haunch for design can kind of figure that out. Up, oh, we lost. Damn. Allied base has fallen. Oh. But you see what I mean? Like, we get to this point, we don't even realize that the base is taking damage until it gets to this near critical point. Yeah. And then we're kind of SOL. I think, I think it needs some sort of better uh, UI to kind of show that shit is going down. Well, or a, a way to recover it, you know? That's something I've always wanted for these Warriors games, but they never seem to include. It's... You would think that they'd have realized it by now. Maybe they did, and they decide that it's better for you to not have as much information, but... Eh, I don't know. Yeah. 
But anyway, that's all for this episode. Yay! Yay! We died. Damn it. But uh, next time we'll probably just Die. get to the end of this and yeah, so you don't have to rewatch all this jazz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although I, we probably have a checkpoint, so it won't be too bad. True story. Anyway, we will see you in the archives. Woo!